Hey everybody, uh, long time viewers of my channel <laughs> will note that uh, whenever I do something that's indoors, it's usually because of um, the conditions outdoors um, that, uh, that are the catalyst. So in this particular case, we are on the first day of spring, March 21st, 2018, and we're facing our fourth nor'easter of, uh, of the winter, uh, of the season. So um, with that, I've been wanting to do this particular video for a little while. I was waiting for one more um, prop to come in, and I'm going to get into it in a moment. No, it's not the Mission Workshop uh, Rambler backpack, uh, that, uh, that it, but it's what's in it. So we're going to get into it, and this trip down memory lane um, from past to present takes us it probably spans over 20, maybe nearly over 20 years. So uh, what's in the bag? Give me a moment to, uh, to, uh, to, to get into it with you. There's three things I'm gonna take you through. The first one, Bebop pedals. This whole video is gonna be about pedals that um, I've collected over the years, um, but it starts with Bebop pedals. Once upon a time, I worked at the the bicycle shop in State College, Pennsylvania, when I was going to school there at Penn State. And uh, I've kept these uh, pedals. I bought these on a pro deal, and I got them through uh, an inner bike deal back when I was, uh, back when inner bike was also doing inner bike east out of Philadelphia. What you've got here are these guys. So Bebop pedals, titanium spindle. I believe it's an alloy cage cartridge bearings, and the cleat. Now, what's interesting about these is you might say, whoa, I've seen these before. These are like the Speedplay Frogs or something like it, or even like the Speedplay, um, you know, uh, X series road pedals. And you'd be most, or the light action pedals. And you'd be mostly right. Um, I think these came first, actually. And uh, so the reason why I'm, I'm pulling these out and showing them to you is I just read as I was doing some research for this. So first of all, here, let me, let me get into this. This is, this is, for those of you old enough to remember, this is, just zoom in on this, just right up here, this right, this is from a dot matrix printer. If you can just see the printing, the type. It's a dot matrix printed receipt. This is from the 29th of August, 1995. 1995, so if my information is correct, this was a pre-order. Um, uh, before they went to retail, which I believe was 96. And um, these things were, back then, in 1995, the pro deal price, that is the bike shop, the shop employees deal, I paid $122. Um, a recent check, $122 back in 1995. Uh, I recently did a check of... Um, I did, I, I did some looking online. Bebop just went out of production uh, about a year ago, um, March 2017. Bebop was actually produced by VP Components. VP makes a bunch of pedals anyway, um, but uh, they cited uh, sort of lack of demand, low production volume, and, and the like. But um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to posit here that I probably have the oldest... Um, sort of somebody that's not affiliated with the company in any way, I probably have the oldest pair of unused, they're not prototype, they were the, they were the first batch, uh, unused, new in box, Bebop pedals um, in existence. And I would love for that to be challenged, mostly because I'd like to know of other people who use them. Apparently there's a loyal following in, um, in England, if I remember correctly from my research. Uh, but uh, super excited uh, to be able to show these to you. Um, this brings me back to the, uh, the early days of, uh, of mountain biking um, back when I was in college. So, Bebop pedals. Next pair from 2000. And so, HT did a run of Aaron Gwynn Edition X2 pedals. These are the downhill pedals, and they did them in the American flag. Uh, the American flag uh, colorway and so here they are 
you see them right here. It's got the, you know, Aaron Gwynn stuff on it. They issued them in 2016. Um, they showed them in, uh, they announced them in 2015. I I'm pretty sure they issued them in 2016. And if I remember correctly, this is, I love this. So it's called the X2 pedal. You zoom in on this, the Aaron Gwynn US Flag Edition, AG US Flag Edition, pair number 14 of 100. So they made 100 of these and I got, I got, limited edition number 14. I didn't know what number I was getting on them. It has a, a height adjustable pins, replaceable pins that you can drop into them. They're in the you know, in the bit here. So there's five, five places uh, on both sides where you can drop in the pins, um, has adjustable tension. And I may never, ever, ever, I know, horrible waste. I may never, ever use these, uh, much like the Bebops. Um, retail back in the olden days was, Two hundred and two hundred and eighty dollars, um, and I got these uh, through a through a shop that I've done a lot of business with. They've taken really good care of me, which leads me to my last and final showing, which is right here, delivered yesterday. Zoom in on that one. So this is the T one edition. So the HT T ones, AG US flag edition. So this is the Aaron Gwynn. These are the, I actually run these pedals. These are beautiful. So here you go. HT T1s. These are considered the Enduro pedal. Um, adjustable tension and, and uh, you know, with the, uh, the American flag colorway. Um, chromo spindle. This is not the tie spindle. Um, tie spindles are rated to 100 and uh, something, maybe like 187 pound rider weight. Not totally sure about that number, but uh, they're not for me. Anyway, uh, so the HTT ones in the American flag edition, these have four, two replaceable, two user replaceable pins uh, on the leading edge and uh, on, on either side. And the reason why I like the um, T ones is um, that the adjustable tension on these seems to hold tension for a lot longer um, and a lot more consistently than what I've experienced with Shimano um, pedals, either the XTs or the XTR trails, so both of them. Um, it has been a long, long, long time since I've used Shimano pedals, uh, so I want to just get that out there right now. I was using um, Time. I moved from Shimano to Time. I was using Time MX series pedals uh, uh, for quite a while, but um, but then they got away from their adjustable tension on the 6 series, and then the 8s and the 12s just got to be too expensive. So, um, so um, I moved to the, uh, the HTs, which have, um, you know, about 150% of the range to the, to the, to the hard release side that, uh, that, the, uh, that the Shimano's do. And that's, a, that's, a, that's my figure, not a, not a, not a scientific figure. Uh, they also have two sets of adjustable float um, uh, cleats, not adjustable. So one set of cleats runs four degrees. Um, a float and the other one is eight degrees. I believe that that's you know, two degrees and four degrees respectively uh, uh, Swinging in and swinging out to get the uh, to get the release anyway amazing pedals. I've got them on all my bikes um, uh, Reasonably priced at uh, the, uh, the the non-limited edition one, excuse me the non US flag ones I think that you can find them for anywhere from a hundred and ten to a hundred and thirty dollars and so there you go. Aaron Gwynn US Flag Edition HTT ones. So that was it. Short and sweet. T ones, the X twos, the Bebops from the olden days. That spans about uh where are we at? Well, you know, twenty-three years. Twenty-three years between pedals here. Um and uh and what a treat to be able to ride these. So I'll be riding the I uh I actually bought uh I got these. I'll be putting them on a on a on a new bike build I'm doing. Uh, but these two, these two are probably um, these two are probably uh, getting put away and uh, will remain collectors' items. Last time I checked with HT, the T ones had they had about 12 pairs left in stock. Uh, they did a limited run. They announced them last year at, at Sea Otter. Sea Otter 2018 is just about to come up, and uh, they they did follow through with their production of these. I don't know the limited number. I, I believe they are a limited number unless they become wildly popular and people want to scoop them up and, and, and demand continues to 
to uh, to to be sustained for them. But these are going on a new new build I'm doing, and uh, and I couldn't be you know happier about uh, about that. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vignette on pedals. Uh, I got to geek out on pedals, something I've been waiting to do for a while. If you like this video, please click, click the thumbs up button. Um, if you um, if this is your first time here, I, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. Um, I do ride videos, I do product review videos, I do stuff like this, just interesting stuff, interesting to me. And um, let's see, and if, and if you're really, really interested in sharing your perspective on these kinds of things, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. See you later.